that's that's a foul bro dang this why Yana is so good because he had to play in these mean streets of milwaukee welcome or welcome back to the channel chris can hoop where i hoop i react mostly just react and create my own content for now because i can't hoop i just finished having my achilles surgery about a week and a half ago so it's going to be just straight like the other stuff and pre-recorded stuff anyway nonetheless it, it's been a while since i've seen Jumpman jimmy on here bro like comment subscribe all that stuff Jumpman jenny 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 dang bro jimmy will be linked down below go subscribe to him what happened to waddle though <laughs> bro did you fire at waddle bro my fault bro i'm just gonna skip to the game bro see bro right here no, jimmy get out the way <laughs> bro right here automatically trust him he got the 20s on <laughs> if you don't swing on him, bro, <laughs> you're playing in cosmic unit. Oh, those are Giannis. Never mind. So as you can see here, I'm just trying to ask a simple question: Which three-point line am I supposed to shoot from? Because we got this high school line and a college line or whatever. And I was just that's the NBA line. Jimmy, that's the NBA line. College line is between the high school and the the other one. Dang. <laughs> I, bro, from what I saw from from the clips, bro, that was you. You was Rudy Gobert. I'm just saying, you was Rudy Gobert. You was getting uh, clotheslined and thrown to the ground. <laughs> you hit a child. Oh, God. I'm just making sure my green screen good, bro, because I be shuffling around a lot. <clears throat> Don't heal children. Okay. Oh. If you're going to do all that, make it. Okay, Jimmy. Show me something, bro. Okay. Dang, Draymond. <laughs> Dang, Draymond. You want me to swing on him, Jimmy? <laughs> Hope your knee's good, bro. Dang. I just got completely slammed to Dang. The and they wanted to call travel, I guess. It is what it is. But anyways, that's when I realized again, that's how it's going to be played out here. No fouls really. You can pretty Dang. Much <laughs> that's Jimmy right there. That was Jimmy. I'm guarding once he gets the ball. I'm just putting a forearm into his back, putting all my body weight. And they called a foul. A bit. Not playing dirty, but just giving him a good shove, letting him know I'm there. What are we talking about? Bro, shut up. You are in in those aren't even Nike slides. Those look like New Balance slides, bro. And the dudes you rooting for, they playing in in, in dang uh what are, what are those, bro? He's playing a Mellows outdoor, bro. Now my monkey, now my circus. Oh, he frying them. <laughs> Dang! Snatch him, bro. Snatch back. Golly, they're hacking out there, bro. And that's crazy, because you in freaking Wisconsin, right? <laughs> they got hackers like that in Wisconsin? I thought playing down south down here was bad. What just got delivered? Oh, my order, my order got delivered. Oh, nice. It's quite nice, bro. Shoot, Wisconsin, y'all, y'all, y'all petty like that, bro? I ain't playing up there. You almost did block it. That's a good move, bro. That's a good move, bro. His name is Sweeney. <laughs> Bro, you doing the most. Jimmy, who is that? What kind of shoes are... <laughs> Bro, I'm so ready to get back on the court. It's me. Bro, being skinny ain't got... That's a good move, though. That's a good move, though. Being skinny ain't got nothing to do with being good at basketball, bro. If we want to compare everybody in the NBA, 
If you want to be technical about it, Wimby is skinny. He only weigh like 10 pounds more than I do, and he's like 7 foot plus. He's skinny, but he be bodying everybody. He is low-key still just tall, though. You know, he's playing. That's the equivalent of me. I'm 6 foot playing on 8 foot rim against children. Like, it's nice he got a handle and all that, but he's still playing on a mini hoop. Anyway, I'm just a hater. You need to... I'm not turning you up. You need to turn down your mouth volume, bro. You're too loud. Jesus Christ. Okay, attack that top foot, Jimbo. Jimbo! Good move, but hey. What are the... Ew! That's that uncle shot. That's a good move. Y'all just play who has the higher score in six minutes? Right! Where is Vinny? I ain't seen Vinny play in a minute. <laughs> Vinny, you still play my dog? Huh? Y'all need to come to the south. You want to get fouled a little bit worse? <laughs> he dribbled too much. Who is he? Ja JaVale McGee. That's where he been all this time. That's good D. That's that's a good floater. Good floater. <clears throat> what does the score go to? Oh, that was that. Oh, that was that was a good move. That was a good move. Why did he skip into that crossover so high? I will say this though. Would it? It should. <laughs> If it would have been full court, I guarantee y'all would have been up a lot higher in score compared to them because y'all play a lot of a lot of full court. I ain't seen Jimmy play half court in like a, a while, bro. You know why that baby crying? Because is that's not Parker. What is his name, bro? Because bro hit him in the face with the ball. <laughs> he got the residual pains going on, bro. Oh, bro. No, it's because they want their friends to win. They don't really care about the game for real. Where's the foul? <clears throat> bro, why he... I'm going to let him live. I'm going to let him live. Y'all all got matching shoes on y'all squad? That's kind of crazy. You can fall by yourself if someone pulls the chair on you. It's it's the old heads, bro. They really be doing the most. Dang. That's not an offensive foul, bro. <laughs> Let me go back. That's not an offensive foul. That's just straight like that's weight room, bro. Boom. Hezzy, hezzy pull. First of all, that's clean. Ain't no foul there. This right here, hip swivel, heavy step, hezzy, with the off arm going, and then going into it. Well, he's supposed to be going into a spin, but that can technically just be called like drawing contact and then bumping him. That's not an offensive foul. Jimmy just need to get in the gym. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jimmy. I shouldn't be talking. I can't even like walk yet. I'm still on crutches. <laughs> <clears throat> funny the way it is like it's not fair bro but whatever that's not offensive your breath <laughs> what did he trip over what did he trip over i've only made it nine minutes into this video what did bro fall over uh-huh it's a rebound <laughs> bro good, good bucket jimmy Good bucket. Two minutes. Oh, the grass is out, so we're just now coming up with another rule as soon as the game is like halfway through, bro. Okay, bro. That's that's a foul, bro. Dang. This why Jan is so good, because he had to play in these mean streets of Milwaukee. Milwaukee don't seem that rough though. <laughs> it really doesn't. Shoo, bro. I don't know if they could last playing 
playing ball in Houston, though. I don't know about y'all. Y'all be hurting. It is your bad with that dang bag of candy. Dang. He's so loud. Oh, he lost y'all. Okay. So, you're probably wondering, what am I doing? There's three seconds left, and we just got a rebound off an air ball, which I could have went up for a layup to win the game. But I didn't know the rules. Goes back to it, like I said in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this picture, this picture haunts Philly fans every time they see it. Why did he pass it? Trey, Trey, did Trey, did Trey Young get shorter? <laughs> Every time I see this picture, he looks shorter. This is like, okay, I'm six foot. I'm, me and Trey Young are the same height, right? He has, he's listed at probably like six one, but you know, they measure them with shoes on. So Trey Young is probably like 5'11". Bro, this is like the homie Isaac passing the ball instead of just bumping me and putting the ball up. Isaac is like six six. You, like okay, bro, I'm I'm done right now. <laughs> but you're not you're not Ben Simmons, Jimmy. You're definitely not, bro. That shot be looking a little Ben Simmons ish sometimes. But I'm gonna let it I'm gonna let it rock, bro. There's no way. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors to see who won? There's $1,600 on the line. You want me to play Rochambeau, bro? No. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but still, that's stupid. Like, at least, like, get one of your players. Look, this is how I do it down here, bro. Get one player and another player from each team. Y'all play 1v1 to 5, and that's who wins the game. But rock, paper, scissors, bro? Oh, whatever. Yeah, give it overtime. Who is this? This is why I'll never do like a park run during an event. I'll do like a park run, but it ain't finna be during no Juneteenth, bro. You playing Cupid Shuffle in the back? Next time, Jimmy, mic up. <laughs> That's not a cone. That cone moving. What are you? You too old to be whining. He's pushing you off because that's how you play the game. Jimmy, let me recover. I'm going to hop on your squad. We're going to run fives. That's five. Put, put Vinny on there too. Bro, who are you? Your slides don't even match your socks. Your fit is whack, and you're wearing a a a a, a satchel. Get off the court. That's a good pass, bro. I forgot everybody's names though. The mismatched bronze is kind of hard though. I only got the orange pair. Good block. That's a good block. Ooh, that's a good. Okay. Thirty seconds. We're up by six. You need a motorized. Get it off the court. Y'all won a game, bro. Bro. What is his shirt say? Oh. Once a, a what? A da hawk always. What? Okay, whatever. I thought it said something else. Vinny, how's your foot, bro? You good, bro? I just got to ask, man. Why are you so close to the ghetto? Oh, back up, bro. Dang. What, cheating? That's how you win? Cheating? Too small. That looks like uh, uh, pulled the chair and chicken strips, bro. <laughs> like, oh no, he's he teach me. Hey, bro, no, he's not, bro. I was super excited that his teammate scored, but I almost had the steal and my foot got. 
That's stepping on your foot, Jimmy. <laughs> That's a whole hand, brother. What do you mean stepping on your foot? Okay, I'm gonna let you slide, bro. I'm, I'm gonna let it rock. Never mind. I'm sorry. My fault, Jimbo. Stepped on before the bucket. And I didn't know this at the time, but after this tournament, I found out that big dude actually used to play D1 around here at UW Green Bay. His name's Jamar Hurdle. <laughs> bro, why is that name funny? Jamar Hurdle. <laughs> bro. Two seasons at UWGB from 2015 to 2017, and averaged nine points, four rebounds, and one block per game in his senior season. And That's respectable. The season that he's played some semi-pro ball, and he was listed as six foot seven, two hundred pounds. So I'll admit That's kind of small. Six seven two. Six seven two hundred pounds is little. That's a little person. Cause I'm six foot and almost two hundred pounds, so if you stretch that out, and I, if I were seven inches taller, bro, and still this this size, I'd be really small. Now, Jimmy, <clears throat> as someone who was almost in college basketball, you don't really need that much experience to guard a college basketball player. Only difference between them and you is that they're a little bit stronger, a little bit faster. But in all reality, you know. Their handles are nice too, but that's about it. You really need to put in work if you want to try to guard an NBA player, but college players, it depends on a lot of factors. It depends on a lot of things. You're not really the average player, so it's different. But like the average player would average like random that goes to 24 hour fitness is not guarding a college player. As you know, you'll see in these 1v1s I upload once I recover as well. The average, average person at the park is not going to be able to guard you. The only way they'll be able to score is if you miss. But, like, anyone remotely athletic could hang with a college player as long as they're not, like, I don't know, a top prospect to go to the NBA. That's about the only only way. That's why Kenny wasn't beating Jerry McCain. Anyone, no. Why, why are people like that, bro? His name is Bill. Okay. Oh, whoa. It's the power of the bronze. Bro, can we have some court spacing? Why is everyone under the basket? Y'all aren't fives, bruh. That's a good take. Ooh, ooh. Let, let's talk about this for a second, too, because I hate when people do that. Just use your just use your left hand. Like, bro, let, let's analyze the play, and I'll tell you why using your inside hand is sometimes better. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hold on. This volume's a little too loud for me to concentrate. Pump fake. He's driving left. He's driving left. He's driving. Look, here comes Sweeney. I think that's his name as help defense. So he can't really finish left. Bro is expecting him to go left. And so he's waiting on the coming up and over and getting him from the left. But he uses his inside hand, which throws off defensive timing. And that's why he used that. There we go. Okay. Okay, Sweeney. Got a little wiggle to him. Dang. <laughs> Jimmy, shoot it. I need some... A Come on, Jimmy. Dang. Why? Jamar Hurdle. You played, you played college ball, right? So you know that's not always a travel. Especially if bro is fouling you to get the ball. His hands weren't on ball. His hands were on Jimmy's arms. That's a foul before it's a travel. You know this. I know this. Anyone who plays college knows this. That's that's a foul before it's a travel. So you guys see what's happening. We drive into the lane. They do this to us, and we don't call a foul. That's a foul before it's a travel. And they drive down the lane, shoot a contested layup with nobody touching them, and call a foul. It's because they want their friends to win. They don't want y'all to win. That's that's what it is. Go to work, go to work. Thank you. Finally, some twos, bruh. This dude right here checking up with bro at the at the top of the key, bro. He's probably the only respectable player on that other team. The rest are kind of just annoying. Oh my! Oh, bro! 
It's stuff like that. Like, if you're not playing the game and you want to watch, you need to be at least six feet away from the edge of the court. That that's why that's why sometimes I don't be watching like I don't be reacting to one v ones because I just be getting so annoyed because like like Frigo right when he did the one v ones and people were like crowding the three point line like back up bro dang how long y'all playing. He wouldn't survive a single game in Texas, bruh. This dude right here that's trying to mimic. First of all, why are you playing? What are those, fours or fives? Why are you playing in Jordans to begin with? Two, bro built like Gumby. Three, he wouldn't survive a single a single game down in the south, bruh. Because we don't play that down here, bruh. <laughs> and it's not like a, it's not an ego thing or like, oh, we're going to fight you. It's like we play aggressive. And the fact that he talks this much. It shows that when someone's aggressive towards him, he he's, he can't handle it. You know what they say? The calm man wins. Shout out B. Ellis. He has like three. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. Uh, I got your back, Jimmy. What do you mean? He, like, he has zero. He has zero. Bro, he has like four or five points right now. And that's a bucket on your head. Stop talking. Jesus. Bro, get off the side of the court. Who are you? You're not even in the game. No one's passed you the ball. You can't do nothing. Stop talking. That's all you're doing. You're wasting your air. Ugh. See, in the game, that wouldn't bother me so much, someone chirping like that. But, like, while I'm watching it back, that would, that would get on my nerves. Or if I'm on the sideline, he's talking to you, that would get on my nerves. But in the game, I tune everything else. It don't matter to me. Why are these dudes playing on Jordans outdoors? Easy buckets, he has zero. Like, bro, Pat, like Pat Bev is a prolific scorer? No, he's a defender. <laughs> oh, I find, okay, okay, I'm stupid. Maybe I'm tired, bro, because I didn't get it at first, but he was making fun of the misses. Is anyone counting the score? This is why we'll never play at an event, <laughs> bro. Come on, Jimmy, win this game for me, bro. We do not care. Like, come on, bro. Doing all that complaining just... <laughs> Oh, that's a good move, Sweeney. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Sweeney could play college if he wanted to. I'm telling you right now, basketball is a game of chemistry. That's why, arguably, they have like a, a better team on the other side, technically. But the chemistry and just playing simple and efficient always wins. That's why the Knicks. I, I'm a, I don't like the Knicks, okay, but they got the whole Villanova squad. That's chemistry. That that matters when it comes to basketball. Hold on. Hydrate, hydrate or dihydrate. That's a bucket. Come on, Sweeney. Is Sweeney the new Parker? Y'all remember Parker from the old videos, the little short dude? Is Sweeney... Are they the same person? No? I don't know. Bro, what do you mean your mic came unplugged? I couldn't hear you talk the entire time. Was it ever plugged in or turned on? Bro. They need to give up. Oh, what'd I do? Hold on. My fault, bro. There we go. That's all. Hey, come on now. Good job, Jimmy. I'm proud of you. Is Jimmy beating me? Nah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know because Achilles it's it's a little hard. Nah, it's about the same. Com no, Achilles you can come back faster than the ACL because I'll be back on the court in six months. Um, yeah, Jimmy, don't beat me. I'm just saying for the record, bro. I'm just saying, just saying, bro. You may you may be you may be able to jump a little higher. I can play a little better. I'm just messing with you, bro. <laughs> you know, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, work on your shot. I need to see you shoot a little more, bro. You used to shoot all the time. 
interesting but did y'all win bro like give me some context did y'all win the the 1600 bucks that's 400 bucks ahead if y'all playing fours you got to give some to your cameraman too so that's like 300 ahead and then you get some i don't know bro anyway like share comment subscribe all that good stuff subscribe to jump man jenny he's down below and you know you know what to do uh journey to the drop off trailer is dropped go go watch it it's a uh, it's it's posted it's on the channel it's, it's the 1v1 trailer then we'll get the the first interview you'll get the 1v1 you'll get the in, the interview talking about my achilles then you'll get me analyzing the 1v1 i got a whole bunch of stuff coming anyway like comment, subscribe all that stuff blah, 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 blah. bye <laughs> use code chris can hoop at in the lab.tv to get five dollars off your order this is part of the tmc collection run tmc part of the old school warriors uh mitch richmond chris mullen and tim hardaway they have their own collection with dev in the lab They've got the signatures at the bottom in the lab in the bars and on the back we've got the caricatures of the players make sure to get you some before they sell out again use code chris can who for five dollars off your order and also follow the link to go buy these in the description like and subscribe all the good stuff 